Oh, hi, kids. It's me, Salty, the singing songbook. The Kids Praise Kids and I are going on a camping trip. Would you like to come along? You would? Praise the Lord. Well, come on, because I think they're almost ready. Everybody doing? Oh, great! Are y'all ready for the camping trip? Yeah, yeah, I am. Look at my new backpack, Salty. Oh. I'm kind of scared. This is the first time I've ever been camping. Me too. Oh, don't worry, kids. We're gonna have lots of fun. Who else has something to share? I do. I borrowed my pack from my brother. Uh -huh. Look at me, Salty. I got a new canteen. Pretty nifty. My dad gave me a Ufilly belt. What kind of belt? A Ufilly belt hang all kinds of stuff on it. See, I got a rope, a camping knife with an itsy bitsy fork and spoon, and a place to hang my canteen. Oh, a utility belt. That's what I said, a Ufilly belt. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a pretty neat one too, Michael. This is gonna be some trip. It sounds boring to me. Boring? Well, not really. It's just that my mom says I gotta keep an eye on my little sister. Well, that's a pretty big responsibility, Matthew. She'd only ask you to do it if she thought you were big enough. I never thought of it like that. Hmm, I guess I am growing up. Uh, Lisa, stay right with me. I don't want her to get lost. <laughs> All right, everybody. Attention! Now let's just see if we've got everything. Sleeping bags? Check. First aid kit? Check. Pup tents? Check. Food? Check. Canteens filled with water? Check, check. check. Hold it. Let's not forget to pray, Salty. Check, check. Thanks for reminding us, Lisa. Will you pray for us? Yeah, Lisa, you're good at praying. Come on. <laughs> Dear Lord, thank you for letting all of us go camping. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I hope. My big brother told me that there are lions, tigers, and bears out there. Is that true? If so, could you please put them in the zoo just for tonight? Thank you once again, and amen. Your best friend, Lisa. Amen. Amen. Thanks, Lisa. All right, everybody. Remember now, stay together and stay on the trail. Susie, turn me to page 24 and let's sing our way up the mountain. My pleasure. <laughs>
can toast marshmallows and have a time to share. fence again. <sighs> you were supposed to stay home and get a bath today. I thought you liked baths. He wants to come with us, Salty. Yeah. But Blooper is always getting into trouble. That's why I left him home. He'll be okay, Salty. We'll take care of him. Yeah! And didn't you say he had perfect pitch? Oh. Yes. Then he can help us start our songs. Well, yes. Look, when he wraps his tail, it beats on my canteen and sounds like a drum. He slurps and scratches in perfect rhythm. His dog tags jingle on the beat. Can you sniff a syncopation blooper? Walking rhythm section. We need him. Are you gonna behave yourself, Blooper? <laughs> okay, you can come. Yeah! All right, all right. I love you too. Now quit licking me. Yuck. Oh. Hey, that sounds like a starting note to me. How about some rhythm, Bloop? Now sit up. Now lay down. <laughs> Roll over. Play dead. What a dog. In everything give thanks. In every situation. Lift your voice and sing. And praise him from your heart. Sing a song of praise. When you're in a pickle. Sing it loud. Strong and praise him from your heart. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Rejoice and sing and shout hallelujah. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Kick up your heels and sing. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Rejoice and sing and shout hallelujah. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Kick up your heels and sing.
not the time to sing a blooper. We're praising the Lord. But Salty, you said that everything that has breath praise the Lord. I know, but not with a howl. Uh-huh. Haven't you ever heard of a hallelujah? <laughs> oh. No matter what you are. If you've got wings or tail or flesh. Invigorating, isn't it, kids? I suppose, but I'm getting hot. Couldn't we stop and rest for a bit? Yeah, my feet hurt. I didn't get a chance to break in my new hiking boots, and I'm getting a blister. Blooper, quit growling. It's impolite. That's not Blooper. That's my stomach. Hmm. I'm hungry. Oh, well, I guess we better stop for a minute and have some gorp. Gorp? A good old raisins and peanuts. Hey, let's sit down under those trees over there. What is that bloop on the ground? Hey, blooper, what are you doing? Bring back my hat. Oh, I knew he was going to be a problem. Wow, he's fast. Blooper. Why is he digging a hole? He's burying your hat. <laughs> Blooper, that's not a bone. That's my hat. Give me back my hat. You give me back my hat. Right now. Come on. Hurry up. Right now. All the way. All the way. Thank you. Oh, yuck. It's all wet. <laughs> How much better do we have to go, Salty? Well, we should get to the campsite just before dark. Besides dark? We haven't even had lunch yet. I'm already tired. Oh, I never said it was going to be easy. Climbing a mountain is a challenge. Ooh. But I know you kids can make it. You know, the Bible is full of stories about people who face great big challenges. When we have to face things that are difficult, God can remind us of what he said in the Bible if we have his word hidden in our hearts. What do you mean his word hidden in our hearts? Well, you start by memorizing verses from the Bible. Miss Salty, I can't memorize verses from the Bible. I'm too little. <laughs> yes, you can. I'll show you an easy way to hide God's Word in your heart with the alphabet. Oh, 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 Come on. Oh. Isaiah 43, 5. G. God is love. First 
Question for H. H. Honor thy father and thy mother. Exodus 2012. I. I am the vine, you're the branches. John 15, 5. Good job. a few more hours to go. This is such great exercise. Exercise? Don't you mean work? This backpack feels like I'm carrying rocks. Yeah, couldn't we hike in the shade? I'm so hot. And thirsty. My canteen's out of water. Even bloopers, hot. Huh? Look at his tongue. It's all the way to the ground. Blooper, you shouldn't complain. You're not setting a good example. Mm. Salty, what are these little itchy red bumps all over me? Hmm, you didn't by any chance sit near a patch of trailing green leaves, did you? Yes, when we stopped to eat our snack. They look so cool and inviting, I sat right down in the middle of them. Oh dear, Susie, that was poison ivy. Poison ivy? Oh, itchy. Now, 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 don't scratch. I got something in my backpack for it. Look how far it is to the top of the mountain. That's too far. I'm tired. I'm bored. All the flowers and rocks look the same on this trail. I want to go home. Me too. That lotion isn't working and I'm still itching, itching, itching. Are we having fun yet? Can I call my mom and get her to pick me up? Sorry, Jeff, there's no phones out here. No phones? Besides, we're more than halfway there already. Oh, Sit down.
down, everybody. Sit down. Not in the green leaves, blooper. Look, there are mountain climbing experiences all through life. Around every bend, there's going to be a new mountain, a new opportunity for us to grow and to see God work in our lives. When you start something, kids, it's important to finish it. One thing about climbing a mountain is you never do it in one big leap. <laughs> you do it one step at a time. Huh? I don't get it. We don't need to trust God for the strength to make it to the top of the mountain. We don't? No. We only need to trust Him for the strength to make the next step. The way you climb a mountain is one step at a time. When something seems too hard to handle, too big to conquer, too far away to touch, when all your dreams begin to shatter and deep inside you you're hurting oh so much that's when it's time to say I'm climbing my mountain step by step I'm climbing my mountain day by day I'm climbing my mountain all the way I'm climbing my mountain I'm gonna Make it one step at a time, one step at a time, one step at a time, with Jesus by my side, one step at a time, one step at a time, I'm climbing my mountain. This God is strong Remember this He'll never leave you He won't forsake you He's your strength and He's your song So sing and start to sing I'm climbing my mountain step by step I'm climbing my mountain day by day Climbing my mountain all the way. I'm climbing my mountain. I'm gonna make it one step at a time. One step at a time. One step at a time. With Jesus by my side. One step at a time.
Kids, we're here. This is the top of the mountain. The, the what? The top of the mountain. We made it. We made it? Finally. We made it. We did it. Praise the Lord. Yeah, Praise the Lord. Isn't God good? Good. He's great. Idea. Tammy and Aaron, you go get some water from the stream. Two pails of water coming right up. Uh huh. Jeff, Johnny, and Charlie, you guys go set up your tents. Okay. <laughs> and one, two, three, four of you, you can set up your tents too. Uh, Matthew and Lisa, hmm, you can go get some firewood, but stay close by and don't leave the trail. Okay, Salty. All right. Can the four of us click firewood too? Sure, girls, we'll need lots. All right, let's go. <laughs> And the two of you can undo your packs and lay out your bedroll. This is so much fun, Blooper. I love camping. And did you see those kids on the way up the mountain? I was so proud of them. And you're being such a good dog, Bloop. I'm really having fun with you. Salty, we can't set up a tent. It's too hard. Of course you can, Johnny. This is your opportunity to grow. You just have to take your time and figure out how to do it. When we have a problem, kids, there are a few things you need to do in order to solve it. First, figure out what the problem is and give it a name. Johnny and Jeff have a flat tent. Right. Then, set a goal. And they need to get that tent up. Correct. Then, decide what you need to do in order to reach the goal. In other words, break the problem down into little pieces <laughs> like a fun puzzle. First, we'll lay out the tent. Then hammer in the corner stakes. Push up the center poles. And, and the, the tent, tent is up. up. You got it. And whatever we do, kids, whether it's climbing a mountain, cleaning our rooms at home, <laughs> giving the dog a bath, <sighs> or putting up a tent, 
or doing our schoolwork, it's important to put our whole hearts into it and do it as if we're doing it for the Lord and let Him be your strength. You mean do your best and let God do the rest? That's the idea. something. It's true, it might take you a while, but if you take it step by step, you'll get the tent up. Go on now and do your best. Do my best. your shoes, Susie. Are you getting them tied? Oh, I haven't started yet. I guess I'll get around to it sometime today or tomorrow. Hmm. Are you afraid you won't be able to do it? Yes. The best way to learn is to try. If you don't get it right, try again and keep trying. If you still don't get it right, I'll show you how to do it and you can tackle it again. Most important thing is that you try and do your best. Do my best. get lost, Matthew. Oh, come on, Lisa. It'll be okay. Stick with me. I'm a big kid now. Okay, but I don't think this is a good idea. Camp is all set up now. Doesn't it look great? It looks terrific, and it makes me feel like a real camp director. <laughs> yeah. We got our tent of salty. And we did it all by ourselves. I knew you could do it. Cooper, watch out! Cooper! Oh. Whoopsie. <laughs> There's something I forgot to tell you. Sometimes problems take longer to solve than we think. And we just have to be patient. We'll help you get it back up, guys. Sure, come on. And in spite of everything, camp looks wonderful. You kids did a great job, and I'm proud of each one of you. So pretty up here with all the big, tall trees. And the air smells so good. <sighs> Look, there's the first star. 
Can we sing songs around the campfire, Salty? How about roasting marshmallows? Sure. Now that we got that tent back up, let's get this fire going. Listen, the cricket's already singing.
you may not even be able to reach the light switch on the wall. It's true you're a wee bit tiny, but you're as big as any man. Cause when you're walking with the Lord, it's ten feet tall you'll stand. I saw when you're clawed. Oh, my. Whoa, Glory all to God. Glow and give the glory all to God. Glow and give the glory all to God. Glow and give the glory all to God. So set your light upon the hill and give it a glow for a God. Excellent. I'm Salty, the singing songbook. Whom do I have the pleasure of meeting? This is Farley McFirefly. He's disabled. Disabled? Oh, no, Michael. When you're walking with the Lord, you're more than able. Blooper, what's wrong? What's the matter? Matthew and Lisa are missing. Well, where are they? They didn't come back when I sent them out looking for firewood. Oh no, kids, come on, we've got to find them. Take me with you, old salt, and I'll glow to help you light your way. All right, Farley, let's go. Matthew! Lisa! Too. All the trees look the same. Oh, Matthew, what about the lions, the tigers, and the bears? Uh, I was just teasing you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that? It's only an owl. How are we going to find our way back? I don't know, Lisa. We've been going in circles for hours. I don't know what to do. We can pray in Sunday school. I learned a Bible verse about casting all my cares on the Lord because He cares for us. anywhere. All we can do now is turn everything over to the Lord. Trust Him and wait. I cast all my cares upon you. I lay all of my burdens down at your feet. And any time I don't know what to do. I will cast all my cares upon you.
Cooper, and he's howling a major triad. He must have found Matthew and Lisa. Farley, cast your glow in, in that direction. There they are over right there. Let's go. Matthew and Lisa, how did you kids get lost? It was my fault. I knew we were supposed to stay on the trail, but I saw a whole bunch of pine cones over on that hill, and I thought it'd be okay to get them. It was scary, Salty, but we tried to remember everything you told us to do when we're in a pickle. Yeah, we gave the problem a name. Yeah, lost. Then we came up with the goal. Yeah, home. Then we came up with the solution and broke it down into steps. We tried one thing and then we tried another, but we are just getting loster. All the trees look the same. Nothing was working. Then I remembered a Bible verse about casting all my cares on the Lord. I had that one in my heart. Good. And so you prayed? Uh-huh. We should have done that first. I know what we did was wrong, and we won't ever do it again. But you know what? I think something good came from all this. How's that? Well, getting lost made us see how much we need the Lord. Will you forgive us, Salty, for disobeying you? Of course I will. I'm just glad you're safe. And I'm glad you learned a lesson, too, that even when we make mistakes, God is still with us and will always love us. Salty, do you think we can go back to camp now? I'm sleepy and so is my teddy. <laughs> That's the best idea I've heard all day. But before we go back, let's take a second and talk to the Lord. Jesus, thank you for being with Matthew and Lisa and for bringing them home safely. We're grateful for the promises in your word that we can always depend on. And thank you for Farley and his shining light. And thank you for teaching us about solving problems in Jesus' strength. You love us, Lord, and we love you. Please give us a good night's rest tonight and a happy Jesus Day tomorrow. In your name we pray.